As new technology meant shows like Animal Magic no longer transmitted live, it has come full circle with Bill, whose programs use the latest technology to transmit live wildlife to the nation. And as live made good use of Johnny's talents, it suits Bill too. I love live programs, um, and I've done quite a few actually. I suppose they don't scare me for one thing, and maybe with some people they do. And I guess if I think about it, I can well understand that. But I'm lucky that um, I don't really worry about the camera or being on camera. And I'm perfectly capable of completely ignoring it. Now, this may look like a perfectly ordinary suburban street, and that's because it is. But uh, tonight and for the whole of this week, this will be part of the biggest ever live broadcast of British wildlife. And we've got cameras secreted all around the neighbourhood in various gardens. And uh, particularly in this one, this is what I like to think of as my garden. I would like to think of it as my garden, but it isn't. It belongs to somebody who's designed a fantastic wildlife life garden. We have a look at the picture here on camera three. You can see lovely ponds, cameras hidden over there. I'll tell you more about them later. Let's have a little bit of wildlife on number 13. Cut to a robin. Look at that. Wildlife by its very nature is uncontrollable, it's unpredictable, it's surprising, it's shocking. So, so there's, there's a chance that what we hope will happen may not. And so there's a danger that you may have an incredibly boring programme, but also it keeps everybody on the edge of their seats. So there's a real sense of the now, the real sense of, un, um, of um, surprise and anticipation and tension. So, great. <laughs> Bill, what's happening? Um, well, I, I suppose the word that would sum it up at the moment, Kate, is nothing. It was like a sketch. We started off, you know, and she said, well, we'll go over to Bill, you know, and say, what have you got in your garden, Bill? And I said, well, nothing, really. You know, it's dark and um, there's nothing happening. You know, a couple of the cameras are broken and there's no wildlife and no lights to see him anyway. So, no, nothing here. Oh, OK, well, that's fine. We'll go over to Simon, who is going, well, we don't seem to have any foxes here we were hoping to have foxes we will be keeping an eye on it throughout the rest of the program but in the meantime over to you bill we're just filling in and for about half an hour we just went round and round different places and we didn't see a flipping thing and you know eventually a couple of things appeared but it very, frankly was wasn't a great one that first one and when we came off came um, off the air and we go outside, you know, it's about midnight by then and a couple of producers looking slightly um, bemused, I think, came and said, what do you think then? And I said, I wish I was doing a comedy show right now because I'd send this up rotten. Because, it, it, you know, it was like a sketch, really. Fortunately for the show's success, a lot of wildlife did actually appear over the week. Bill's live broadcasts went down a storm with viewers and he is now hot natural history property. Look, bless. That's fantastic. I would converse in polar bear and python, and I would curse <laughs> in blue <laughs> kangaroo. <laughs> hey, Johnny, if I asked you, how would you speak like Norseron? I'd say, of course, you're a <laughs> Are you? Oh, <laughs> If I conferred with our furry friend, a man to animals. Think of the amazing red monkey! If I could walk with the animals, walk with the animals, grunt and squeak and walk with the animals. Animal. 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 Animal.